I'm Dr. Daniel Paul Stewart. I'm an non-invasive cardiologist, and I'm thrilled to be part of Hamilton Healthcare System. I have uh, a wife, Carrie, and my daughter is Ellie. She is uh, she just turned seven years old. I live in Cleveland, kind of northwest Cleveland. Um, we have a little house a bit off the road with some woods, a little bit of water behind the house, and a variety of wildlife running through the yard at various times of the day, eating my wife's flowers and uh, vegetables until we built a fence around it. I didn't think much of it, but my parents weren't exactly thrilled that I, you know, sent in an application to the University of Hawaii and the University of Alaska. It wasn't something that I was very serious about, but I was kind of curious to see what they would send back. You know, they were very glad when I wound up uh, getting a scholarship and going to somewhere much closer to home. At Texas A&M, uh, I guess I did the first two years, which is mostly introductory courses and then kind of the basic electrical engineering courses. So I got into school at the Texas College of Osteopathic Medicine in Fort Worth. Uh, I left Dallas and I'd been living in North Dallas at that time, Plano. Uh, moved to Fort Worth where I lived for another 10 years. One of the things I think Hamilton offers that is not something common you would find elsewhere uh, is they have a comprehensive system where from toe to top of the head you can get good health care within the same system that allows for transparency between the specialists at fertility facilitates communication between the specialists so that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. I've run into a few patients who are perfectly fine going to five different cities to get their care, but almost everyone is much happier when they can go to, to one place. And the biggest complaint I get probably for the multiple doctors, the biggest uh, benefit to getting the care in the same place is the transparency so that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. That's very important. And unfortunately, communication between specialists, sometimes even with the primary care docs, is not what it should be in medicine. In cardiology, we do deal with a lot of sick patients, and so it's very gratifying when those people come back in, uh, the people that we can help and we're able to make the differences in their lives to to get more out of it. Number one is gonna be chest pain, certainly, and from a heart standpoint, that gets our attention the most, certainly. Number two tends to be getting out of breath with activity, dyspnea on exertion, we call it. Uh, and number three, I'd say it's a, probably a pretty close mix, having palpitations or passing out. Uh, those are the, the big ones for us, but we see a lot of folks for uh, blood pressure when the primary care docs are having some difficulty getting the blood pressure under control or if they have some other comorbidities that they want our eyes on it to help uh, help get the more they need to. It's fun when you treat them and they feel better. So when they come back in and they've got a smile on their face, some of them, sometimes it's a sheepish grin because they didn't think that there was anything you know, wrong with their heart, and they tell you, you know, I'm feeling much better. Glad, glad I came to see you. That, you know, that really, really makes you feel better. I do try to, as much as possible, when I'm uh, taking care of a patient, ask myself if this was my mom or my dad or my brother or my daughter or my wife, would I be happy with the care they're receiving? That I, I feel is a good thing to ask ourselves to make sure that we are delivering the best care possible.